Hello to all the hair that is in the land. Hello. It is Lisa, all the way from Australia. Australia. <laughs> we color hair yesterday for a different YouTube tutorial, which you guys should definitely check out. We use my identity demi permanent color 6SS, 8SS, and then some 10SS through here. And what's crazy is that we have curled her hair for the shoot, and we have iron her hair, blow dry her hair several times, and the color has not faded, right? It hasn't changed one bit. Like, I'm so mind blown right now. It's insane. <laughs> I'm mind blown as well. <laughs> so today, we are gonna use My Identity Vibrant Pastel Direct Dye. Let me grab the boxes. Woo! Ta-da! All right, are you ready? I'm so ready. Bring it. Ooh, okay guys, this is a pink diamond. And I know sometimes when you look at it, it can look kind of purpley or whatever, but keep in mind that it seems that way, okay? Because it controls a little bit of the yellow. That's why you're seeing a little bit of that violet cast. This is Lavender Lust. You guys like that name? Every moment, every now and then, we get a little bit lusty, right? Lisa, how do you feel about this one? I love it. You love it? My favorite. Okay, so now we are doing charcoal. So one thing I love about the charcoal in my Denny line is that it's not blue, it's not green, it is not violet. Look at this. As I squirt it out, you can see that beautiful tonality. You could also mix it with any of the colors here too, so that way you get a more muted tone. Now we're gonna squirt out the blue. I love the consistency. The fragrance is amazing. What's important is that this is a direct dye. What you see in a bowl here is what you get. Uh, of course, the underlying contribution plays a role. You still have to think here when you're applying the color. And you don't have to mix it with developer. You use it as is. So don't get this confused with the dual booster. They're not the same. Let's get started. Yes! yes! <laughs> Yay! All right, so most of you guys know about my diamonds in the sky technique that we've been doing for quite some time here. So most hair besties are aware of it, but if you're not, the diamonds in the sky technique is I take these triangle patterns as I balayage her hair, um, whether I'm using a lightener or direct dye. I place down the charcoal first here, just because I want some depth in certain areas. And then this is a great time for me to go in with the pink diamond right beside it. Okay, and what I love to do is I'll go in with the Lavender Lust right beside that too. It creates a prism effect uh, because we are overlaying a silver color hair. It shimmers through and it's only sitting on the surface, right? So the dimension is insane. What I say is there is no specific type of placement as long as your eye see it as this looks good, place it there. And I tend to kind of leave the ends out just because I like it to appear lighter. Um, I find that when it's lighter here, it creates more movement and it doesn't look too dipped. By adding more pigment down on the ends, you're gonna make those ends look darker and that's not what we want. We want to create an illusion of movement here, right? So you guys get to see uh, the charcoal, the blue, uh, the, the pink, the lavender, and right above here, let me show you guys what I do, okay? So I'm gonna repeat the same method going all the way up the head. Sometimes I leave some ends out, sometimes I leave some the top part out. It depends on what you want. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go straight across, creating another diamond section right through here. So triangle, triangle. And at this point, at this triangle, what I do is over direct her hair down. Okay, and you get to be creative, guys. Where do you wanna see the charcoal, here? Perfect, let's put that charcoal there. And remember, the charcoal is the deepest color, so it creates the most depth. So if you wanna see depth there, you can add the depth right there. So through here, I'm gonna go in with the Lavender Lust. I'm gonna go right above, okay, and paint on that pink diamond, and just merge the tones together, okay? Look at how the tones just kinda of fuse together naturally. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm taking another triangle section here. So this is the third section. I'm gonna do it again here so you get to see clearly how I place the color. Um, I like to put the dark colors down first. So I'm gonna go in with the charcoal. Um, I don't wanna to put too much dark in, but 
I love creating different uh, lows and highs because it creates depth and movement. All right, going in with pink diamond, direct eye here. I'm gonna paint right down the center, blurring it right in. And sometimes I overlap on top of the charcoal. That's what makes it look even more natural if I just overlay. Don't worry about uh, separating and dividing the tones. They can actually overlay each other and complement each other very, very well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Lavender Lust right beside it. Okay, and blur that right through. And then there's also the Arctic Blue here. I'm gonna paint it right above that. And with the blue, I like to consider kind of like an accent. I don't wanna get carried away and put too much blue. A little bit goes a long way sometimes, right? Pink, I always say when in doubt, always use pink, because pink, if for some reason it always gets drowned away next to a bunch of colors. Like if you're doing green or blue, it's like in the background. So that's why I always do more pink if I'm putting all these colors together. Now, after I paint it all the way down here, I'm just gonna feather and leave the ends out just slightly like that. Sometimes what I like to do is leave the top out. It's just the top can veil over and the colors peek through the bottom. But because we're already here, I feel like it's cool to just go ahead and put the colors in anyways. Why not, right? You get creative. Where you wanna see the color, just place it there, okay? I'll stroke it up just like that. I'm gonna leave a little bit of her, her na not natural, but the color that we placed in with the uh, silver smoke. And that way when it drops, it'll veil right on over. Because remember, you place it right here where that swirl, the hair separates, it's gonna look like a weird sprout of color and you don't want that. And then we're done with this section completely. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and complete her whole head. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited with Lisa's hair. Lisa, please tell me how you feel. I feel like a magical unicorn. It's insane. I love it. I love it. I just can't describe it. I'm seeing all that silver tones, a smoky color and you're, oh, I, I, I'm lost for words. I'm obsessed with your hair. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I, I'm just curious how you guys feel about it. I mean, look, this is all my identity color from the Demi Permanent, all the Silver Smoke series, overlaying uh, my identity vibrant pastel to create this cast using the diamonds in the sky balayage technique. I'm obsessed with it, Lisa. Clearly obsessed with it. All right, guys, I can't wait for you guys to try it. This is an amazing coloration. You guys got the technique and there is gonna be another video on my YouTube channel that shows how I did the silver smoke color first before we overlay the direct dye. Thank you. Thank love. you. All the happiest in the land.